So today's look is this year's uh, St. Patty's Day look for my channel and basically it is a fun, very, very neon yellow, um, very neon green, a little bit of neon blue, um, some transitioning through the crease, some outer corner uh, techniques, I brought it under the eye, I did lashes, I did liners. So um, whatever look you choose to wear this year, have fun with it, be creative, and happy St. Patrick's Day. All right, so I just took the Andalou Naturals Luminous Eye Serum, this is the eye brightening serum, and the All Natural Face Magic Vegan Eyeshadow Primer all over the lid. I'm gonna take Buttercup Cake, and I'm gonna pop this on with my Dime Tools 777. And we're gonna put this in the inner portion of the eyelid. And we're going to start sort of blending it into the crease just a little bit, just so it doesn't suddenly stop on the eyelid. So I'm now going to take Midori, and we're just going to pop this on the, on the other half of the eyelid. And we're popping it on with this 77. A little bit of butter cupcake. And we're going to softly merge the two together. party which is a really pretty blue anytime I wear this particular shade from sugar pill I get so many questions what color is that it's really interesting where do you get a color like that so I'm gonna put this on the outer portion just to kind of deepen up Midori a little bit I'm now gonna take 112 R and we're gonna pop this on to 785 And we're just going to use this as our tradition, present, tradition color. Yeah, we could call it that. Our transition color. And we're just going to diffuse all the colors together into this color. If you mix a bunch of colors that contrast together, you would get brown. It's not the case here. We are using colors all in the same family, analogous colors. Take 11, 111R from Inglot, and we're just going to place this on the brow bone. After party, and we're going to go in the outer corner of the crease and eye again and touch that up with after party. Now I'm going to take Dime Tools 40 or 777 and the 403 color from Inglot, and we're actually going to place this over the center of the lid. 403 on the Dime Tool 781, which is a little pencil brush. And we're going to place this under the eye in the inner portion. 504, which is a shimmering green. Very close to Sugar Pills Midori. Sugar Pills Midori is pretty matte though. This definitely has quite a bit of shimmer in it. Not glitter though. A very subtle shimmer. I'm now going to take 504 and we're going to pop this in the outer corner. You can see it's a little bit brighter and shimmerier. So I'm just going to do that in the outer corner. Josie Moran Magic Marker Argon Liquid Liner. And we're going to pull this up to a wing. So I just took the Inglot Mascara. This is the False Lash Effect Mascara. I put on the upper and lower lash line, and we're lash line, and we're gonna do the same to the other eye. Now I'm gonna take the 28 lashes from Cara. These are equivalent to uh, the Red Cherry 82s. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on these. These are pretty long. Um, so if you want something a little softer, um, but still kind of semi-dramatic because this look is dramatic. You could try the 48. The lashes are on. I retouched the eyeliner and the brightness of the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take Lush's uh, Fantasy, which is a pretty gold. It's the gold at the end of the rainbow. And I'm just doing this rather than using glitter. Sometimes because when it's bright and sunny outside like it is today, <laughs> glitter can be very painful to wear in the summertime. I'm taking Inglot YSM foundation in number 43. This is my current shade, one of my favorite formulas. 
from Inglot or for foundation in general. Take the Too Faced Aqua Bunny Cream to Powder Foundation and we're just going to put this on the contours of the cheeks and then the contour of the hairline. Take Kitten Shimmer by Stila, and we're going to put this on the upper portion of the cheekbone. Right, so now I'm going to take the Too Faced Cheek, uh, Cheek Bloom color, cream color in the shade T Rose, and we're going to blend this out. taking Inglot Soft Precision Lip Liner in number 68, which is a shimmering peachy pink. Take the Tarte Gifted, or sorry, not the Tarte Gifted. This is the Tarte Adored Lip Surgeon's Natural Lip Luster. Sorry, Tarte Gifted is mascara. If it's too much for you, try out a different St. Patrick's Day tutorial, but basically just have fun and experiment with some green, some gold, some white, some green eyeliner, maybe even green lipstick. So just have fun with it and be safe, uh, drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, and make sure that you trust everybody you're going to be hanging out and drinking with because I think that's the key to having fun um, and being safe. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.